Welcome to Math 20 video lecture series. In this video, we're going to define and illustrate the six circular functions. So let us begin by recalling our previous lesson. So we know that P of theta is cosine theta comma sine theta, where theta here is any real numbers. So, ito yung sinatawag nating uh, six circular functions of theta. Uh, so, yung first two, alam na natin, they are cosine theta and sine theta. So, yung next one is tangent theta, which is this is sine of theta divided by cosine of theta. And we have secant theta, which is the reciprocal of cosine. So that is 1 over cosine of theta. And the fifth one, cotangent of theta, which is cosine theta over sin theta. Or pwede nyo isipin na reciprocal siya ni tangent. So, this is also the same as 1 over tangent of theta. And finally, we have cosecant theta which is the reciprocal of sine, Or 1 over sin theta. And in our previous lesson, so the domain and the range of cosine theta and sin theta are this one. So, the domain is the set of real numbers, meaning kahit anong theta, pwede nyong ipas ipasok dun sa cosine tsaka sine. And the range is from negative 1 to 1 only. So, yung, yun yung binibigay na values ni cosine theta and sine of theta. For tangent, ang domain niya is, of course, the set of theta such that its denominator is not 0. So, cosine theta is not equal to 0. So, ano-ano ba yung mga theta na yun? So, kaya naman magsi-zero si cosine. Kapag nandito ka sa pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, uh, 5 pi over 2, 7 pi over 2, etc. Or, the odd multiples of pi over 2. So, in this case, if you want cosine theta to be not equal to 0, so theta must not be an odd multiple of pi over 2. Okay. And, uh, ang range nito ay ay bibigay sa ni tangent is the set of real numbers. Okay? So, actually, pareha sila ng domain ni secant theta. So, ang domain niya ay theta in R such that cosine theta is not 0 which is the same as the set of theta such that uh, Theta is not a multiple of pi over 2. Okay, ang range niya naman, actually makikita natin from here, no? From the range of, of cosine. Pag kinuha mo yung mga reciprocals niyan, Maglalaro lang yan sa negative infinity to negative 1 to 1 to positive infinity. Okay? So, let's proceed with the last two. So, for cotangent, the domain is set of theta in R such that its denominator is not equal to 0. So, sine theta is not equal to 0. Pero kailan ba magsi-zero si si sine? So, 0 si sine kapag nandito yung P 
copy of theta mo, nandito sa pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi, etc. Or, sila yung mga multiples of pi. So, in this case, theta must not be a multiple of pi. Okay? And the range is the set of real numbers. So, kahit anong number, ilalabas na lahat ng set of real numbers. Pag pinasok mo lahat ng mga nasa domain mo. Okay. And finally, cosecant, its domain is the same as that of cotangent. Or, yung mga hindi multiples of of pi. Okay? And the range is the same as that of secant theta, which is negative infinity to negative 1 union 1 to positive infinity. Okay, so Let's do a couple of examples. So, give the circular function values of uh, let's say pi over 6 or pi over 3. Okay. So, pi over 3, kailangan alam muna natin ang p of theta niya. So, p of pi over 3 is uh, that is 1 half square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so in our previous video, we know that the first component, 1 half is cosine, and the second component is sine. So, cosine pi over 3 is 1 half, while sine pi over 3 is square root of 3 over 2. Okay. So, how about tangent theta. So, tangent theta is equal to tangent is equal to sine over cosine. So, tangent pi over 3 is sine pi over 3 divided by cosine pi over 3. But we know sine pi over 3 is square root of 3 over 2. Cosine pi over 3 is 1 half. And this is square root of 3. Okay, next. Now, we can easily find secant of pi over 3. Secant pi over 3 is the reciprocal of cosine. So, that is 2. Cosecant pi over 3 is the reciprocal of reciprocal of sine. So, that is 2 over square root of 3. Or, if you want to rationalize, that is 2 square root of 3 over 3. And tangent, uh, cotangent pi over 3 is the reciprocal of tangent. But tangent pi over 3 is square root of 3. So this is equal to 1 over square root of 3 or if you rationalize square root of 3 over 3. Okay? Okay, let's proceed with the next example. If theta is pi over 2, mm, p of theta or p of pi over 2 is, that is 0, 1. So, cosine of pi over 2, that is the first component, 0 sine pi over 2 second component which is 1 ok so tangent pi over 2 by definition that is sine pi over 2 over cosine pi over 2 pero kung titignan natin uh, this is 1 over 0 so ibig sabihin hindi siya defined so sabihin na lang natin that tangent pi over 2 is not defined.
Okay, so sabi natin, di ba, bawal yung magzi-zero yung denominator, which is yung cosine dito. At mangyayari yun if theta is a multiple of pi over 2. Okay, how about... Uh, si secant pi over 2 hindi rin defined kasi cosine is 0. Okay, and cotangent pi over 2 is cosine pi over 2 divided by sine pi over 2, which is 0 over 1. Ang denominator natin is not 0. So, define ito. 0 divided by non-zero is 0. And finally, what is cosecant pi over 2? This is 1 over sine pi over 2. But we know that sine pi over 2 is 1. So, this is 1. Okay, na gets ba? So, for our final example, so what if theta is 21 pi over 4? So, kailangan muna natin hanapin si P of 21 pi over 4. So, sabi natin sa previous videos natin, kailangan natin tong paliitin. Okay, so by subtracting mga 2 pi mga multiples of 2 pi or pwede na tayo mag divide na lang ng 21 divided by 4 which is 5 21 so remainder 1 so you can write this one as 5 pi plus yung remainder pi over 4 so tanggal tayo ng multiple of 2 pi so, tanggal tayo ng pi over 4 from here. So, matitira p of pi plus pi over 4. Which is p of 5 pi over 4. And p of 5 pi over 4, nasa ang quadrant yun? That is in somewhere here. So, that is in quadrant 3. So, x and y are negative. So, magiging negative square root of 3, negative square root of 2 over 2, kama negative square root of 2 over 2. So, mahanap na natin yung 6 circular function values of 21 pi over 4 kasi alam na natin yung point function value niya. So, cosine is negative square root of 2 over 2, x component, ang y component, negative square root of 2 over 2. So, from these two, we can get tangent. So, tangent is sine over cosine, which is 1 lang naman. Okay. So, reciprocal of tangent is cotangent. So, reciprocal of this is 1. Okay, and the last two, let's compute for secant of theta or secant of 21 pi over 4. This is the reciprocal of cosine 21 pi over 4. So, negative 2 over square root of 2 or negative square root of 2. And cosecant 21 pi over 4 is the reciprocal of sine 21 pi over 4. So, we get negative 2 over square root of 2 or negative square root of 2. So, these are the 6 circular function values of 21 pi over 4. And that ends our video lecture series for today. See you sa next episode natin. Bye-bye! Kira, baby.